Hey guys, Omar here and it's absolutely pouring out and I thought it was a perfect opportunity to come out with the Fuji X-T2 and a weather sealed lens, the 35 millimeter F2 and just come out and shoot. Remember the main reason I got the camera was so that I can come out on rainy days, rainforest. If I'm in Venice and it's pouring, <laughs> I wanna go out and be able to shoot. So I decided to take a break from work and come out and just shoot in the rain. Uh, you should always have a purpose when you come out and shoot. And I think my purpose besides getting totally soaking wet <laughs> is I wanna shoot with uh, perspectives. I think a lot of us, when we first start, we shoot standing straight up and then we come kind of crouch down a little as we get better. But try, I'm gonna to try to shoot everyday objects at, at a very strange angle or maybe from a new perspective, just to get a, you know, a little artistic look. All right, let's go. Okay, we got some pretty leaves here. Oh, leaves that are wet always look really awesome. I'm gonna use the soaking wet Fuji X-T2 with the 35 millimeter weather sealed. And I'm gonna get close, but F2 may not work here. Let me take the picture in F2 and then show you, as you get closer to items, sometimes it gets too vocalicious. So sometimes you kind of have to, you know, stop down to 5.6 when you get close to stuff. Okay, so I'll shoot it at F2 and then like 5.6 or something. Oh, that's pretty. And what's tough is as you move around, you lose a little bit of the sharpness of a lot of the drops. So I'm gonna go stop down to 5.6. And you're gonna see that you get a lot more water, a lot more drops, a lot more crispiness. Ooh, that's a cool perspective there. Now, another thing that I like to do is actually use my body to focus. You can manually focus too, but sometimes I just use the autofocus with a tap and then actually looking in the EVF because you get a great preview of your photo is to actually use my body distance to focus super sharp on what I need. Pow, that's a power tip right there. Oh my gosh, it's raining like crazy. How you doing camera? If the camera breaks and doesn't work, I'm getting the Fuji X-T3. Enough plants, let's find some other stuff. So what's great about shooting in the rain, besides, you know, being totally alone <laughs> because no one else is going to come out, is the colors get really saturated. There isn't a lot of harsh sunlight, so the, soft, the light is really soft, which is nice. And so I'm going to shoot these flowers, but use Velvia, Velvia as the film simulation to get really a good pop of color here. Check out the flowers here. Ooh, nice. So right now the film simulation is classic chrome on my Fuji and you notice that's like blah. So I'm going to change that. Here's Velvia film simulation. And so I'm going to use that to photograph the flowers. And I'm, I'm kind of liking some of this brown here. So these three colors go great. Let's do it. So don't forget to lock your ISO dial. That's one thing about this Fuji X-T2 that's like, meh, you gotta lock your ISO dial or it spins, no problem. I was on 6400 by accident, so. You could go back home disappointed with some like <laughs> 6400 images where this should be shot at ISO 100, 200. Okay, that was pretty. Enough plants, let's find some other stuff. All right guys, so I'm in an alleyway. There's some cool um, splashes going on here. And let's see if we can kind of have a high shutter speed and grab a lot of that water shooting up. Let's see what we get. And the wall in the background is super interesting. So we're gonna focus. And again, here we can shoot. We don't have to shoot at 2.0. My knee is wet. And I'm gonna use shutter priority this time. So the fastest shutter I can get with acceptable, nice clean ISO of 400. Let's see, we're gonna have to go up to 800 ISO to get a 500th of a second. Bam, let's get some drips. 
let's try it. You know what? Let's do high continuous and see what we get. Basically, this is one where you shoot high continuous and then later you pick the best splash. So, uh, let's see. I'm at 250th of a second now. Oh, yeah. Fire! The camera soaked. This is like a true test. Look at this. Crazy, right? <laughs> Nervous. Okay, I found this super weird alleyway. Here's some tags and wires. This might be cool to work on perspective. And there's some ladders over there. So let's see what we get. I'm um, going back to auto ISO and I'm going to aperture priority. And let's see. Oh, this is cool here. There's some neat wires. So here the camera metering gets completely confused since this whole wall is completely white. Your meter is going to make everything bright, but I want these cool little metal things to be darker. So that's where your, your uh, exposure compensation dial is awesome. So I'm going to make it minus one here. Very cool, very cool. Now, uh, a lot of times you may ask yourself, why am I taking a picture of just, you know, something stupid like nails or anything like that or screws or ladders it's about training your eye it's about flexing your eye and practicing um, to sort of get better at composition so it may it might not be a photograph you even show anyone but you're working with lines and things so let's try something with these ladders here Going Belvia here on the flowers, going Belvia on the flowers. Now you gotta be careful with Belvia because sometimes the, it clips. If you're using the JPEG, red and pink are really tough colors to deal with, but the flowers look great. I'm gonna change my film simulation to standard. That way the pink isn't so hot. <laughs> and I think I found a nice little wet flower there and I wanna keep the flower in a clean spot. For example, you don't want this where that flower is over. See that little sp space right there? So we need a little space. Let's try up two. Nice, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm officially soaked. Uh, <laughs> so the easiest thing to photograph in the rain is any kind of flowers or plants. They have such vibrance. Uh, so I want to try one more non-flower, non-plant thing as I walk through the town here. Um, so perspective. How about a parking meter? Hmm, can I get art from that? Don't know. Let's see. Anyway, I think that concludes my super wet, nasty photo shoot. <laughs> I'm going to go dry up and continue working. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Get out and shoot in the rain if you have a weatherproof camera, weatherproof uh, lens. Um, camera's still working. When you get back home, make sure you dry it with a towel. And uh, some people say put it in a bag with rice. Psst, I ain't doing that. All right, I'll see you guys next time.